Uh, buenos dias, everybody. Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use GIMKit to assess your students on vocabulary. Uh, so let's say you already have some GIMKit sets created, and it's just vocab terms matching, right? That's what they are if you just import them from Quizlet, for example. So what I do when I'm ready for them to take their quiz is I take that set. So this is a lesson nine, and I copy it because I want to make my quiz out of a different set. I don't want to edit the original one because next year, you know, I'm going to use it again for my students. So I'll over here on the right. Like if I wanted to take, make this Descubre 1 Lesson 9 a quiz, I'll click the, over here the three little dots, and I'll do copy. And I'll make a copy of it, and it'll put it at the very top. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go to the little dots right here, and I'll click Edit. Um, you don't want to rename it up here at the top left, so I named it Quiz, so I know that I'm using it for the quiz. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through, and I'm going to change some of these matching questions to a couple of different types of questions. And I'm going to tell you what they are. So one of the options I do is a listening comprehension. And what that is, you can see that these first five questions, I'll just say, um, escribe la palabra que oyes, which means write the word that you hear. So basically, if I, let me click edit here. Um, this is, the question is, is that, write the word that you hear. The answer is invitar. And what I do is I just click this audio button and I can record my own voice saying the word invitar uh, to the students. Let me see if it works because earlier it was lagging. Invitar. Invitar. Okay, I'm not sure why it lags like that, but it does work better when they're taking the quiz. We just did this this morning, so I know it works. So they just type in the word that they hear. That's listening comprehension. Uh, the other type is just the standard multiple choice, which that they already have a bunch of those, so I have those. Uh, I have some that are just like, what is it? And there's a picture of some vocabulary. So what I to do those ones, again, you click edit, change it to a text input, put it, type in the answers here, add the what is it question right here, and then click the add a picture button. And Gim, GimKit has a, a pretty easy way to add pictures too. It's like if I wanted to add a picture to this one right here, you just click add photo, and then you can search right here, and it comes up with pictures like super quick and easy. So I got what is it pictures, I've got fill in the blank ones, like it's a blank of wine, so it's when they put botella for bottle. Uh, I've got ones that are just uh, word clues, like this one that says it's uh, it's the holiday of December 25th, and then they'd have to put La Navidad or Navidad into the into the answer. And you can have both too, which is kind of cool for these uh, word ones, so like the answers for this one, I accepted either Navidad or La Navidad if you want to. And then I just go through and add a bunch of those types of questions. Obviously the majority are still matching. But I do have pictures, and I do have several of the listening ones as well, which is kind of fun. Uh, when you're ready to do this in class, you can just play it like a regular game. So go to the game, launch it. Let me sh show you guys how I set that up. And I'm also going to show you how you set it up for kids that are at home if they're um, absent. OK, so like, let's say we're ready for the quiz. Here's the quiz. I'm going to click Play Live. And I'm going to tell you about some options and what you might want to do when you're doing this as well. I just do the regular classic mode. And then this part, you're going to want to kind of decide on by yourself. So I've been setting my games up for mostly, most of the time for 20 minutes. And after we finished the first couple of chapters, I did, did the math. And I figured that the students were answering about 100 questions on average. So what I did is I decided that I'm going to ask them to answer 50 questions in 20 minutes, because that's more than reasonable, right? So it's like three, it's less than three questions, uh, two and a half questions a minute, I think, is the math's right. Uh, so 20 questions, and make sure I suggest that you turn, if you have power-ups, just put them in the clean power-ups so that they can't mess each other up. And then uh, you just uh, hit start. It's, uh, you know, continue up here, get them to log in, and then you start the game. Pretty straightforward, right? All right, and then when the kids are done, you can see the report, and you can see what how well they did. And I just take their accuracy. And I put that into their grade. So if, it was, if there's uh, 50 questions and they got a 85%, I just put 85% into my grade book. For the kids that are absent, what you're going to want to do is create an assignment with the quiz set. If you're not sure how to do that, let me show you right now. So I'm going to come over here, click assignment. And actually I had a student this morning who was absent, so I had to do this for her. So uh, click new assignment. Uh, search for the kit. It's right there. So I click that one because it's the one they were taking. And then... I usually give them more cash just because some of them like to answer questions and earn cash, right? Click advanced options down here at the bottom and then change the time. If it's 20 minutes, give it 20. And then you can give it a title, you know, chapter nine quiz or whatever. And then click create assignment and it'll give you a URL. You can send that to your students and then they can take the quiz at home. And that's it. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Adiós.